Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, recovering from my long ass day, but I have a great topic. My dear best friend and roommate came home today with a dog related question and uh, definitely deserves some attention because um, not only did I already know quite a bit about it and had already researched it in the past, but I was current issue that my friend is dealing with. I was giving him advice and now I think it's important to give you guys the same advice. This is mange transmitted to humans. Now, without even reading about it, I had already done research on this in the past. We had run into a dog with mange and I was explaining to an old friend of mine like your dogs have mange and uh, it can transfer to humans in the form of scabies, okay? And uh, so basically, <laughs> your filthy ass stinking fluffy, hey Z Oliver, ah, your filthy stinking ass uh, mutt can give you a pirate, did filthy old pirate disease. Uh, yeah, that's what it was known so well for. So uh, let, let's jump right into it uh, and cover this, this topic that cracks me up. These kind of things always crack me up. Um, you know, you'll see me more angry when we're talking about things like polluted parks and waterways and stuff like that. But when it comes to talking about how stupid these people are and having these damn things around. So my friend comes home and he says, um, hey, you know anything about humans getting mange? And I was like, yes, it's called scabies. It doesn't transfer to humans as mange. It's, a, it's from a mite and you get scabies from the mite. And he's like, well, my boss, he said he had to go work at the guy's garage today. He says, and he's got this stinking ass rancid looking German shepherd that's like falling apart. He's all, it makes me uncomfortable. The thing looks terrible. He's like, you know, I'm like, damn, he looks, he looks rough, man. You know, what's going on over there? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, I think it's his food. You know, it's his diet. My buddy was like, no, Doug's like, I don't think that's his diet at all. <laughs> it looks like he has mange. I said, he probably does. It usually shows up in particular areas on the pet. The mange mite likes to go for places that the critter can't reach to scratch and fuck with them. They embed themselves into the hair follicles and uh, that's why the hair falls out, okay? And um, so I said, you know, generally it starts around the head and the anus and spreads across the back and then down over the rest of the body. These are all the areas that the dog can't reach. Like I explained to him, they can't reach to scratch their ass, you know, with their paws. They have to like stick their body all the way down there. We've all seen this disgusting crap to get to the spot that's bothering them and they actually can't even properly reach it. It's just, you know, so many seconds of them being down there and then they're coming up for air. So he says, yeah, well, the weird part was like, I see him like bending over and working and he's like scratching the edge of his head. He goes, and it looked like this like patch of hair missing. And I'm like, your boss has gotten, has picked up scabies from his dog. And he's like, I know. He's, I thought it would be a good topic for a video. And I'm like, yeah, it actually is. And I haven't covered mange yet. So I haven't even mentioned it. Uh, there's two types of mange, a sarcoptic and dematopic and a demotopic, excuse me, and um, sarcoptic is the type that is transferred to humans, okay, and in the form of scabies through a mite. Now, if you get the mites, the, sca the uh, mange off of the dog, now, not all mange cases are curable. Uh, it's the demotopic, I believe, that isn't. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe we'll see that in the article. Um, two articles I pulled up. But if you get the dog if the dog is cured of mange, then your mange will die because technically these mites, they can't feed off of humans for too long. Uh, they can only reside there for, for such an extended period of time. But if the dog or the cat, you know, other critters carry this, but it's, it's usually dogs. Uh, cats are a little more well known for ringworm. Okay. Then, and they look similar. You get like scratchy or uh, scratchy, um, scaly skin when it's coming off in like, you know, circular marks and it spreads out with mange. It usually goes in more of an ovular, um, shape as it spreads out. It's just the, the way it looks. Okay. I don't make the rules. Um, you know, and, uh, I'm like, so yeah, your boss was, I said, you make sure to keep yourself clean. And now because we don't have any pets, 
you know, we don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but it's still gross as fuck. <laughs> so I thought, hey, this is a good chance for me to talk about this, give a personal experience that someone's dealing with. Can we all just say, that's fucking gross, fuck fluffy, all at the same time? What, what? Hit the comments. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he said the dog is walking around the yard scratching itself to death. And, and um, dude, this is like, uh, fuck dogs, okay? Let me just throw the disclaimer in. But what a terrible, terrible way to walk around living while your human or your owner or whatever is sitting around going like, oh, it's just his diet. No, a lot of things do cause hair loss, but more often than not, hair loss from diet starts in different spots and it's not where they're, you know, digging themselves so ferociously. If they have an allergy, it'll be kind of, you know, this and that and, and like a simple like oatmeal bath or a change of diet will fix this that will not fix sarcoptic mange. And that is almost undoubtedly what this dog has because it's given it to his owner. I just, I find it really funny. So let's hop into this article real quick. Let me um, set myself up here so I'm not squirming all over the place like a dog with mange. God. Mange is a generic term for skin conditions caused by certain species of mites and animals. When these mites affect people, the name for the issue is scabies, okay? And the title of this article from Medical News Today is Can Humans Have Mange? Um, and I've got two, like I said, and I'm sorry, I had to link them. I made the video earlier and totally forgot to link them. I'm sorry, I did it later. Mites are microscopic eight-legged parasites that can live on animals, including dogs and cats and humans. Well, I'll move this over this way. It's just a little easier for me. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> Oh God. To lay their eggs, they either burrow into the skin or hair follicles. Various types of mites affect different species, including humans, in different ways. In this article, we look at the distinctions between mange and scabies in people and other animals. We also describe the symptoms, treatments, and prevention of mite infestations in humans. Hey, I've got a great solution for not catching mites. Don't have these things around, okay? My old friend who had it, I got to show, Doug, when you watch this, make sure and go look at the links because uh, this is probably what your boss's head looks like. Uh, I had my friend that had the dogs with the mites, and there are natural treatments for this. This was back when I still helped people with dogs and shit. And, uh, you know, lavender oil is a good one, um, essential oil, and you mix it into shampoos and stuff to get rid of the mites. Um, just fucking disgusting and people will just live with these things and it's just beyond me so mange in humans versus animals mange is a skin condition caused by mites it typically affects dogs but some forms can also affect humans the most common type of mange in dogs is sarcoptic mange it's also known as canine scabies okay humans can scratch can catch sarc Humans can catch sarcoptic mange from dogs, but the mites involved cannot complete their life cycle in human skin. As a result, the issue can cause skin irritation in humans, but it doesn't last long. So long as the mites leave, right? Because if the dog's still carrying them, then you can just continue to get new mites every day. After contact with an affected animal, a person may develop itchy welts like mosquito bites, which may be reddish. They should fade shortly. In the meantime, a cortisone cream can reduce the inflammation and itching. The other type of mange that dogs contract, demodectic, see, sorry, I think I messed that up earlier, uh, is fairly rare. It's one of the reasons I didn't say it so well because you don't hear about it a lot. And more serious, a do that, and I believe that's the one, it's contagious, oh, okay. A dog may develop if they have compromised immunity. Experts do not believe that this form is contagious for other animals, including humans, which I've seen a lot of proof as to such, but I don't know. To me, like all of this stuff can transfer over. Um, we've covered this when we talked about zoonosis. Um, if a person suspects that their dog has sarcoptic mange, they should keep the dog off shared furniture. Yeah, right. Wash the dog's bedding and avoid close contact. You know, stop making out with it and fingering it. Stop letting it sleep in your bed. And they're both like, just imagine, his boss is such an asswipe anyways. I just imagine this guy and his dog just scratching themselves all damn day and going, 
man, I don't know what's going on. This is really weird. I'm really fucking itchy. Uh, hey, how about you, Fido? You fucking itchy, Fluffy? I'm, uh, Fluffy's all, yes, I'm fucking itchy. <laughs> Sarcoptic mites of the subspecies Sarcoptes scabies canis varius cause mange in dogs. However, a different subspecies, um, and I won't rip this apart. Okay, I'm going to try. Sarcoptes scabial varia hominis causes scabies in humans. Okay. Hey, I might not be able to say some medical terms, but at least I don't have freaking scabies. Scabies can spread quickly from person to person through physical contact. So you see where this just gets more out of control? You see? So it's a good thing my buddy Doug doesn't hug his boss. You know what I'm saying? Because you can pick scabies up from this individual whom has picked them up from his dog <gasps> symptoms if a person gets mange from an animal the issue is usually short-lived mites from animals typically cause an allergic reaction on human skin this leads to irritation and intense itching the affected skin may be reddish in people with lighter skin tones the itchiness of mange can last several days but a person does not need treatment to get rid of the mites a cream that contains cortisol will help ease the symptoms Human scabies, on the other hand, does require treatment. It is common throughout the world and more problematic in areas that are overcrowded, have poor sanitation, or both. Or a dog owner's house, they're living in this crap. If a person has come into contact with human scabies mites for the first time, the symptoms may not appear for up to eight weeks. However, the mites can spread to others even when no symptoms are present. No, I'm itchy. A person who's had scabies before may experience the symptoms of a new infestation in as few as one to four days. Okay. A person, who, oh, excuse me. Symptoms of scabies in humans include intense itching, which can be more severe at nighttime. A rash, possibly of small blisters between the fingers. Small tracks of blisters or bumps called burrow lines where the mites have traveled. The symptoms may be more apparent in skin folds, such as those in the fingers, palms, buttocks, beneath the breast, and the inner knee and elbow. Ugh, it's got my titties itching, y'all. The treatment, if a person gets mange from an animal, the symptoms should disappear within a few days. However, the animal needs medical attention. Of course, take care of Fluffy. For scabies, a person needs to use medication to kill the mites and destroy their eggs. These medicines are called scabicides, and they also come as creams and lotions. Effective scabicides are not available over the counter. You have to get a prescription. They list off a couple of the medicines. Uh, once you have the medicine, clean your skin, shower, bathe, apply the lotion all over the body, up the neck for maximum. F oh my God! Leave it as leave it on as long as the instructions recommend, and afterward change into clean clothing. Brute sex partners, dogs. And anyone else in close contact with someone who has scabies, dogs, should also get tested and body <laughs> yes. You and Fluffy, your sex partner, need to see a doctor to get tested. Ouch, my brain, y'all. <laughs> this motherfucker in his dog. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> if any of the buff medications are not appropriate or effective a doctor will prescribe you and your partner that's <laughs> okay oh, that's <laughs> okay i'm gonna hold on myself <laughs> here's just one more article about it from healthline what is mange it's a skin condition caused by mites that are tiny parasites that feed and live on or under your skin mange can itch and appear as red bumps or blisters oh my god now i'm so paranoid <laughs> you can get mange from animals or from human to human contact so there you you know <laughs> a common type of mange in humans is known as scabies most cases of mange and scabies affect only your skin and they are treatable. You should seek immediate medical attention if you suspect you have the condition. Mange and scabies are highly contagious and make you susceptible to a secondary infection. Oh my God. Mange can cause severe itching, redness, and rash. Oh God. A mite that causes mange in humans stays on the skin for approximately 10 to 17 days. Okay. And so they kind of go into the same stuff 
okay? Except they throw in a couple extra things. Uh, mange can appear as other conditions like dermatitis, eczema, fungal infections, and insect bites. Like I said, a lot of people will confuse ringworm with scabies. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> Yar! I made love with me dog and he gave me the scabies, mate. <laughs> now we both need to seek a doctor. <laughs> These disgusting fucking people. That's why every time they try to bash on me or make fun of me, I'm just over here like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not all mites cause mange. The humans get scabies and other types of mange from direct contact with mites that cause, I'm just scratching it now, that cause the condition. It can cause a temporary allergic reaction that does not need further medical treatment. It mites burrow into the top layer of the skin and lay eggs. Mange is frequently found in wild and domestic animals. You know, you're fucking fluffy. Uh, you got Ema01, dogs eat their own vomit and poop because, I can't wait to read this, uh, <laughs> washing your hands after touching or treating animals who have mange. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> it's very contagious. Sharing clothes and bed linens with someone who has mange, your dog, can cause an infection. They live for days on animals or textiles. You may even get scabies or another form of mange from sexual contact. <laughs> because it spreads quickly, those living with you should get treatment for mange. <laughs> you may be at increased risk for mange if you have sex with your dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This video was fun. <laughs> living in crowded conditions where you practice poor hygiene I don't know, both of these things are already dog people things. Have a compromised immune system, number three. Work or live in a nursing home or hospital, uh, you know. Frequently attend child care or school facilities. <laughs> or are a young child. The children, you know, are immune compromised. <laughs> it's possible your doctor will locate a mite or take a sample of your skin from a suspected area. And a poor doctor, he's all... <laughs> Oh, did you, did you catch mites from Fluffy again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was from the anus this time. <laughs> your doctor may not even find mites on your skin, even if you have them. You may only have as few as 10 to 15 mites on your skin. Dear God, these sick motherfuckers. They'll make the diagnosis based on your physical symptoms. Oh, God. Hey, little side note. I remember a lady, like I said, I used to be a professional with dogs. And, this lady hit me up and she's like, oh my God, I think my dogs have mange. Will you come check it out and stuff? And so my dumb ass, back when I used to do this stuff, I was so dumb. Was, but I, but, well, I was dumb for going around them. That's all I'm saying. But I went over there and I'm like looking at them and I'm like, that doesn't look like uh, mange. And then I'm like, well, what have you been doing? And I start going through the stuff. She goes on to tell me that she puts flea treatment on them. And she's like, you know, it says leave it off for 15 minutes. And I'm just like, Nah, it's cool. I leave it on for like 30 or 45 minutes and I'm going like this. And she's like, and then I take them down to the lake and wash them. And I'm like, okay, let me get this straight. You're, you're burning the skin off of these dogs with this flea treatment. She's like, oh, I never thought about that. I'm like, well, not only that, but then you take it to the local lake and you're washing it off in lake water. Well, I didn't want to use my house. Right, because we all should be dealing with it. So, you know, I mean, but back then I didn't think about it like this. I just thought this woman was insane and was melting her dogs, which she was. And then she gets a hold of me like two, three weeks later. It's like, you're totally right. I stopped, stopped melting her skin off in her fur started growing back. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, y'all. Okay, you're done. Uh, you have to clean your linens and clothing. And wash the items in hot water or dry them in the dryer. It's like getting rid of uh, bed bugs or lice. Dry cleaning and putting them in a plastic bag for a few days. Dear God, your doctor may recommend treating your family or other members of your household simultaneously, even if they don't show signs of mange. I am probably going to do all this stuff 
not the bags and shit, but I'm, I'm definitely spraying the house down with essential oils just after reading this, and I don't even have a reason to worry about it because we're very careful around here. Doug comes home and takes a shower and takes care of his clothes and stuff. Dear God help us all, this is fucking disgusting. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. You can also try soaking in cool water. <laughs> Applying a cool compress to soothe the affected areas. Calamine lotion. Scratch, scratch, fluffy stuff. Oh my God, you guys. I am beyond dead right now. Beyond dead right now. I am just, I am, how funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video so I can stop laughing about this because I just can't stop laughing. I, oh. So you guys just remember, um, obviously, be careful, protect yourself. Some of this stuff, you know, like people say like, hey, just, you know, these are the things you can do and still have dog friends. Yeah, just remember, I mean, you know, on top of tapeworms and hantavirus and um, everything else you can get, you can go and get you some scabies, matey. So, you know, fuck, man. Y'all, <laughs> protect yourselves. <laughs> Wear a contractor bag. Um, <laughs> God damn it. I think my brain. Uh, get your still toe boots. <laughs> Carry a mag light. Fuck Fluffy. And the <laughs> and his mites. My God. Um, humans first. <laughs> From the bottom of my dog hating heart. I appreciate every one of you. I think it's going to take me 20 minutes to stop laughing. Um, everybody protect yourselves. Dear God, protect yourselves. Um, if, if the two videos today were enough reason to just get these things the hell out of our society, then I fear we have lost the battle. <laughs> you guys, I'm out. Thank you to all the new members. Thank you for joining the community. Thank you for being here with us to laugh at these psychotic idiots. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>